Hi, this is Tristan Jutra from Get Connected at Intel Canada's Visibly Smart Roadshow. With me today is Joe Ellis from Intel Canada to talk to us about some of Intel's back to school technologies, especially regarding performance. We have a little showdown outside. Can you tell us about that, Joe? Hey, Tristan. Yeah, it's back to school time here. A lot of families are out there looking for a new PC to send their children off to school with, and everybody wants the best they can possibly get for their child so their potential is untapped and they can actually have an enjoyable experience for the next three or four years. What we have outside is a demonstration showing two similarly priced laptops that, from the exterior, look about the same. However, when you take a closer look inside, you actually see that they behave quite differently the more workload you actually put on that PC. Specifically, what we're trying to say is, don't just let the facts and figures on the flyers tell you what to buy. Sometimes, more is not always better. In this case, less is more. We have a dual-core Intel second-gen processor with four gigs of memory competing with an alternative quad-core six-gig configuration, which you would expect one to handily beat the other. However, when you take a close look, you quickly see that the Intel second-gen core easily outperforms the competitive alternative for only about $40 or $50 more, depending on where you go. Well, it's great to have some sort of filter because there's so many laptop options out there and it, how, how mere mortals can decide is beyond, beyond anyone. So let's look at a specific example of a performance comparison. Sure. Come over here. I'd like to show you something that we call Intel QuickSync Video Technology. This is technology available in every second generation Intel Core processor, and it's technology specifically designed to help meet the needs of those who create video and regularly post it online. When you take a video, say with the Sony Bloggy camera, it comes out in a file format that is much too big for many websites or social media destinations to handle. So video transcoding or simply conversion is a fact of life. And it's also a new point of frustration for most people with their PCs that are three years old or even some that they may have just bought recently. Intel QuickSync Video takes the alternative, which you see here, if we just begin to convert this video file over here, you'll see a bright green bar begin to pop up, and it will slowly chunk along, and several minutes later, it will actually complete. If you look over here to the Intel second generation core processor with Quick QuickSync Video, watch carefully, again, look for the bright green bar, the video rendering happens up to 19 times faster than other alternative PCs from, say, even three years ago, and even to the PC that you could buy today. Now, the difference, as full disclaimer, these are not the same class of PCs. In fact, one is averaged around $350. This Sony is actually around $700. But the difference of 19x performance should more than outweigh the cost. So that really applies when people are doing uh, their social video, they want to upload it to YouTube, Facebook, and this is the kind of thing where it can save you not just minutes, but literally hours if you're doing longer format stuff. So how about when juniors heading off to college and want to watch a little something, you want to, you're not creating video, you're consuming video, what do you do for the dorm room when you've got your laptop, but you, you maybe have a larger screen that you want to watch it on? Yeah, in fact, uh, agencies like Comscore tell us that Canadians are the most online engaged and you know, overall uh, the number one video consumers in the world. So no surprise that it's something that Intel has placed as a high priority to make sure consumers that actually have second-gen Intel Core processors have a great experience when they're watching video. Problem is, when you're sharing or watching, whether it's a new Netflix account, which I think Canadians are happy to have, uh, or if it's just a social media outlet and you just want to share something that a friend sent to you, the small screen's not enough, and certainly the speakers aren't enough. So what we've developed is a technology called Intel Wireless Display 2.0, a technology that actually allows you to free your PC content from the small screen, and at the click of a button, put it to the big screen. And this supports up to full 1080p high definition and 5.1 channel surround sound. So finally, at last, we no longer have to synchronize around just this small laptop. You can take it back from the couch, watch wherever you are, and still enjoy your social media sites, do your homework, or whatever it is you want to do while you enjoy your streaming movie. And the nice thing about this is, even if you are still a DVD junkie, it's a Blu-ray or a protected DVD, second gen Intel Core actually does support decode of protected content. So it's a technology we're really happy with. And in fact, Hollywood has adopted this technology and it's a sponsor for something we call Intel Insider, which will give Canadians very soon access to movies anywhere from 30 to 60 to 90 days after their movie release, right to their PC, available to their big screen, right at home. So if this uh, Wi-Di technology isn't built into your TV, how can you get this to your TV? Yeah, there are three components you need. First is an actual uh, compatible laptop. We ask everybody, look for the Intel Wi-Di logo, which is displayed in a lot of Best Buy and Future Shop stores. Um, it's an option to the second gen core processor, so make sure the PC is configured to support it. The second thing you'll need is an adapter. We have one up here from our friends at D-Link called the Main Stage Adapter for Wi-Di 2.0. This is around a $79 to $99 purchase, depending on where you find it. 
and it hooks up just like your old DVD player would. One cable for interconnect and one cable for power, and you're done. Once that's hooked up, once your PC is turned on and wide eyes activated, you just need to have the TV ready and good to go. So all sorts of uh, performance and entertainment options from Intel Canada at their Visibly Smart Roadshow. Thanks very much to Joe Ellis, and we'll catch you next time at Get Connected.